Hey y'all, it's Kathy Bo. I'm coming to you live from a studio and I'm first I'm gonna get this set up. There we go. Now I need to see if I can I'm this turn this way down. Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna get to see your comments, but I'm sure gonna try. Okay, so let's see if I can get Get us moved over here a little bit. Yeah, that's a little better. A little better. Let's see. There we go. Because my desk is just a wee bit messy, y'all. Okay, as I posted earlier, um, I wanted you to know that we are making a special little card tonight. This one here, isn't it pretty? Now, it's a simple card, but there's a couple of very special things about it. And I don't usually stamp the inside, so, you know, somebody else, somebody can write what they want to on it. But the special thing here is the heat embossing on the Knight of Navy cardstock. And I've also added this, uh, where is it? Here it is this frost white it's brand new frost white ink and I put it with alcohol in a spritzer and we call it shimmer paint and there's about there's about five drops in here which is probably more than a lot of people would use um, and then about you know that much alcohol I mean ton of alcohol most of this is alcohol and just five drops of this. This has a little ball in it and it's to stir it up and it's actually an ink but there's so many uses for it. For example, I'm going to use it for the shimmer on the card and it just makes it, oh gosh, it makes it so pretty. So stick with me here just a second. I meant to mark the page but y'all know. I can be a hot mess whether or not I want to be. Come on now. Probably that page. Yep, it was the page I almost skipped. Okay, so this is it. It's called Shimmer Paint right here. And let me make sure I'm in. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is Shimmer Paint. Are y'all able to see that? I'm looking. Hold on. Please hold. Trying to get it in the in the thing now. There we go. Okay, okay. And I've got the frost white and the champagne mix. I mean champagne mist. And they're eight dollars for them. And I got this one. And here's the other one. And I have um, created with these. Um, these are the Stampin' Spritzers. And you just put some alcohol in there and a few drops of these and you're good to go. All right. I'm going to show you how to use them to keep from dousing your project, which of course, guess who doused their project the first time, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. Let me see. Now this guy has to go back there and wait just a minute. Okay. So this is in the holiday catalog. It is, um, there's several different item numbers, but if you want the frost white, it's 147046. And you can also go to my um, store at kathybow.stampinup.net and um, just key in shimmer paint and you'll see all the different colors. Okay, so here's what we did with this card here. I started off with a eight and a half by 11 um, piece of cardstock, which is your standard size, like this, eight and a half by 11, and I cut it in half this way. Now, if you want a card that folds a different way, you'd cut it like this, but when you cut it in half this way, it becomes four and a quarter by five and a half, all right? So that is the size we're going to start with. It's Four and a quarter here by five and a half here. Hi, Tammy. I'm so happy you're here. Yay. 
Okay, so now I can have fun because I see somebody's here. So anyway, four and a quarter by um, five and a half, and you just score it right in the center, and you know that's that's not right. That's eight and a half by five and a half. You score it in the center, and then it becomes four and a quarter. Whatever. Okay, and then I cut my. Uh, Knight of Navy cardstock. This layer is five and a quarter by four, and it's going to go just like this. Hi, Tammy. I love that wave. Anyway, it's going to go like this. All right. So let me let me see if y'all can see the sparkle on here. I meant to show you this. Let's see if y'all can see how it sparkles and shines. Can you catch any of that? Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. So it, it's kind of like dandelions blowing in the midnight breeze, right? Okay. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to set our big part of the card over. And we're going to get our embossing buddy. This is um, a little powdery pillow that you have to have when you are embossing. I mean, you just have to. I'll show you why. It will be a hot mess. Where's my hot mess? Well, I didn't really try hard with this, but there's extra powder here and here, and it's just yucky here and here because of static. Y'all know static clean? Hi, Emily! Yay! Emily's here too. You know how static clean back in the day when we had to wear pantyhose and, um, and skirts and slips? I hated those, and I swear I'll never wear them again. I don't care whose funeral it is. Um, static clean is not our friend. Um, kind of like gravity. So basically this little pillow here is going to powder our cardstock and it's going to remove the um, static cling and it's called Embossing Buddy and again that's in my store too. Alright so now we're ready to stamp and I'm gonna start with this big guy here. This stamp here. Oh how about if I tell you what set we're using. Hello. Yuck, nasty weeds. Yep. Um, dandelion wishes. Well, yeah, they're they're weeds, but they're so pretty. And I remember blowing on them and making a wish. I mean, like it really came true, right? I think I wished for, I don't know, a pet elephant. Who knows? I never got it. Okay. So, dandelion wishes set we're using. I love this, this font here. You're going to see that in a sec. Well, you can see it here on our example. Isn't that pretty? I love it. Okay, so I'm using the um, the main set. It's got three. And I'm putting it on my block. And y'all know my blocks are yucky because I have to put ink, I mean, I have to put um, adhesive on them. Now, I'm using Versamark, which is a watermark stamp pad. I want to show you what a watermark does. Let's just say you want to create just some really cool background, okay? then you just do this and it's like the the old days when your checks just had a watermark on them i don't know if you can see that can you see that it just kind of kind of brings out the color and you can stop right there but we're not going to because we are cool like that so because it's a bigger stamp i'm going to go this way and the fact that i don't want to bounce my camera around I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I see you, Tammy. Mm-hmm. Okay, and we're just going to stamp right here. And I'm kind of, you know, pressing down a little bit. All right, we got that part done. And now we're going to use this one. This is the one that's blowing in the breeze. It looks like that. And we are doing this card as a landscape. because it fits better. Okay, so I'm going to put this one, and I'm looking just above the ones I just stamped. Put him there, and then I'm using these little guys, which are these, working on the Halloween box. Oh good, you got the Halloween kit from Paper Pumpkin. How do you like it? I know you got a lot of trick-or-treaters. We don't have any here at Six Little Lakers. And we never will, I'm quite sure. 
Yeah, I'm going to go off the page a little bit there. Okay, so keep in mind, I've used my embossing buddy. I got the static off, and now I have stamped it with my, um, with my Versamark. Come on now. I don't know what you are, but you need to get off. Okay, so now I've just got a regular piece of, um, we used to call it type and paper. And, well, Tammy, sometimes, you know, you just have to turn your lights out and pretend that you're not there. Okay, so now I'm using the embossing powder, and this is a heat embossing. It is probably my favorite thing ever. See that mess I just made? Watch. Bum, bum, bum. And then you got to... Thump it like that. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I didn't get enough on there. Okay, well, maybe I didn't. So, I'll show you. There's a cure for this. There's a couple of cures. Okay, I keep a bunch of paint brushes right here. And I don't even know what that is. We'll get that off. But see, apparently, I didn't get quite enough of that um, embossing buddy on there. There we go. Put a little bit more of my powder there. But this, this honestly, y'all, this is my favorite technique. And the way we used to do this, I'm not kidding you, we held it over the eye of a stove. There was a lot of little fires at Stampin' Up! get together, so I'll tell you the truth. Okay, so I can't fix right in here because I'll take it off. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. I've made this card so many times tonight. I got a couple of pretty ones over there. If this one doesn't turn out. Hi, Heather. I got Heather and Tammy here. We lost Emily, but that's okay. She'll come back. She's got little ones at home. Well, they've, um, just try and refresh, Heather, because it's working. I'm looking at it on my um, iPad right there, and it's working fine. Okay, so... Now this is um, this is the heat embossing tool, as y'all know, heat tool. And the best thing to do is to um, heat it up. So I'm gonna turn it on and it'll take just a minute and as soon as it gets warm enough, I'm gonna start embossing. It's not too loud. I can actually sing while it's on. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Y'all join me. I want to be a part of it. New York, New York. Okay, I've never been to New York, and I really don't want to go. But for some reason, that song just came on my mind. Okay, do y'all see how this is starting to, to change? You know, we can mute you. <laughs> you can, but I've got your number, girl. I can call and leave messages. Now you know you're going to go downstairs booming the song, right? Okay, I love this part. I love it, love it, love it. It's when the powdery stuff turns white. And it's gorgeous. We should totally go. No, I'm not going to New York. Uh-uh. No. 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 All right. So here we go. And really and truly, I've got a prettier one right here. Well, not really. Oh, this is why I did landscape. Because it didn't fit on the other one. Um, ta -da -da -bum -ba -dum -bum. Okay, hold on. Now we're going to spritz it, y'all. This is the, I had to write on here, Frost White Shimmer Paint. Because I made it. Okay? It comes like this. These are the... <laughs> T Tammy, you probably did the flashing. This is the Stampin' Spritzers, and they're just amazing. You just put a little bit of alcohol, and I'm not talking about the kind I took to the beach. I'm talking about, um, let's see what percentage I use. I got 70% isopropyl alcohol. Okay, and there's no shimmer. And then here, I hate to put it right over my desk. What I'm going to do, I'm going to spritz it and just kind of like wave it around it, but I got to do it over here. So bear with me just a sec. 
Okay, I did just now learn something. You should hold this the the pointy thing that that sprays. You should definitely hold it toward your project. Yeah, you need the Stampin' Spritzers. These have been these have been here a long time. I just don't use them that often, but I've started. Um, Heather, at the beginning of the video, I was talking about the Frost White ink, and the way I mixed this was. The majority of it is the 70% alcohol, which I I don't know that it has to be 70%. That's just what I used. Um, and then about five drops of this new shimmer ink. It's called uh, Shimmer Paint. And it's in the catalog. All right, so see if y'all can see the shimmer. Isn't that pretty? I'm competing with the wheel. Oh, boy. And it's not even a rerun, is it? It's like the longest game show running. Okay, let's see. All right, we're almost done. We almost got this card made. And I appreciate you choosing me over the wheel. All right, so this is the Fast Fuse. Let me tell you all about this real quick. It's on the clearance rack because Stampin' Up! quit carrying it. And then Stampin' Up! said... The manufacturer got in touch with them and said, we've got like 40,000 of these things. Do y'all want them? And they got a deep discount, so they put them on the clearance rack. So now, just for a little while, you can get the Fast Fuse. And this is seriously adhesive. Like, you you don't even play. Like, it's it's just more ad ad adhesive than we have in the um, in this one. Okay, so the thing about this fast fuse, you draw it on there, and then you have to kind of ant like that. They call it a check mark. I don't know what to call it, but you got to do that, or it'll get all stuck up in here because it's it's serious, and you don't get a second chance. Like you put it on there, it's a done deal. Okay, so I want to make sure that my card is correct, and it is. I'm gonna put this. Like I said, you don't get second chances here. Okay, but it lies really flat. I love that. We're almost done. Now, I want to show you the um, the little stamp that I used. Uh, here it is. And the Knight of Navy stamp. The ink, Knight of Navy. This is the old style, but I'm not buying a new one until I need to, right? What did I do with the... Hang on, hang on. Okay, here we go. So, it is so pretty and so crisp. And it's just such a pretty stamp. And it is this one right here. So, we're using just this one set for this whole thing. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that fast fuse, Heather. You, it might get all over you. You might, you might just, you might just want to skip that one. <laughs> Super glue, hot water. Um, I don't know. Stay away from sharp instruments without adult supervision. Tammy, she needs adult supervision. And they say hundred, not hundred. <laughs> Who says hundred? <laughs> Tammy, I can't keep up. All right, hang on. Okay, so y'all see how I made my little my little stamp there, and I'll show you what's next. I cut it out with the stitched shaped framelits. I used this one. It's the second to the smallest. Oh, Drew Carey. Yeah, they do. You're right. They say hundred. Um, stitch shape framelit dies. I love these because you see the little stitches? That is so up my alley. Between the font and the Knight of Navy and the little stitches, I'm just so happy with this. Yeah, I'm t I, right? I'm telling Tammy you need adult super. That's right. I don't know who would supervise the two of y'all since I'm not there right now. Y'all just have to put me on FaceTime and say help. Okay, so I'm putting some Stampin' Dimensionals here. Y'all should be proud of me that I'm remembering all the words. All right, here we go. 
and we're just going to put this right here and boom we're done but wait there's more right here I've got the little I've got the little envelope that I made and I used the new um, gray granite because I didn't really want to emboss this envelope. I just used um, gray granite to stamp all the little the little um, dandelion things. So this one I just made, and this is the one that looks a lot better. So that's really the one I would give someone. And besides that, I want to show you this, um, this little tool here. This has, well, let's see, I knew I'd forget it. It's called Take Your Pick. And y'all know, oh, thank you, Heather. And y'all know that I've been using this scary dental tool for a long time, and I probably still will. But this has, Tammy, I know you're familiar with this, and I think, Heather, you have one too. It's got a little um, putty at the end, and you can pick up little, um, little beads or something, whatever you want to put on your card, embellishments, and, you know, your big fingers don't get in the way. And this completely comes off, and there's a refill that comes with this. So when that runs out, you just put the refill in, and you don't go twisting it and everything because that little putty's going to start coming out. Then on this end, there's an unlock and a lock, okay? So we're going to unlock it and pull it out. And right here, you have... A poker thingy like a stylus or whatever and then here you have like a um, the oh, gross Tammy <laughs> anyway this is like something you could mix your colors with or something like that um, super handy and then there's this part and this is the um, Oh, gosh, I always forget this word. Heather, where's my brain? Uh, when you fold it in the middle and you score it. Ah, yes, I did it. It's a scoring tool. Spatula, yes, Heather. This is a spatula. This is a scoring tool. There's two different sizes. And you just, if you need to um, do some stuff with the scoring, you just put it in like that. Or you want this size, you put it in like that. And it's called Take Your Pick. And it's, um, it's really a big deal. It's really a big deal for Stampin' Up! to come up with that. Um, I felt like they were a little late on the, on the scene with it, but the fact that it does so many things and replaces a lot of other tools um, makes it a big winner for me. So there's our card. And, oh, I did want to show you all this real quick. This is the other card I made this week. And this is just a simple wedding card. Wishes for a lifetime of love and ha happiness. Um, I think I did a video on YouTube. I think I did a live with that. But um, this ribbon is called the Polka Dot Tool. And this is it right here. And yeah, it's like a knit, uh, knit kit. Yep. And then this is the Tufted Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. I mean, wow, that's a mouthful. But you see, it just kind of makes like a pillowy look. Um, yeah, it's so simple. It's so simple. And thank you, Tammy. Yeah, this this is such a simple card. You see, I just used uh, very vanilla, stamped it there, I um, embossed it with this, and put on some pearls. And just, I mean, the ribbon, and that's it. And then I just tied the bow separate and stuck it on with some glue dots. So there we go. That's it. Um, if y'all see anything you love and need in order to live a normal life, I will put the um, link to my store in the first comment. I know a lot of people are going to see this later. So, um, also my YouTube channel. I'll put that down in there. All right? So, thanks y'all for stopping by. Love you, mean it. Toodles!